let's start recording. Good morning. Hello there. Everybody, everybody already there? I'm a bit late to the party today. I didn't realise all the cameras were were all off because of the uh, moment of clarity on Friday. We, had, I we, I adjusted all the cameras and then I realised that I was in the wrong place. <laughs> I wasn't at a show. I was back in the shack shack. Good morning. Come on in. Can anybody hear me? Is the volume all right? At least I got that right. It's freezing today. Freezing. Really cold, but nice and fresh and bright. Good morning. Come on in. Good to have your company from Snowy Morden. Good morning, Helen. Yeah, I think everybody, uh, a lot of people in the north have got snow as well. Where's Morden, Helen? Ah. Oh. Yeah, no, we haven't got any snow here. There was a threat of it, but it didn't happen. It's okay. It's all right. Just nice and crisp. The cats are interested. They're um, they're looking outside. You can see that they're ready to to come out, but come out so to speak. But the thing is, it's freezing. They don't realise that. All tucked up by the Arga. <laughs> I get the shock of their lives if they stepped outside. Yeah, come on in. We're on the old uh, ball rushes today. What a load of ball rushes. Yeah, because we've done our birds, haven't we? We're colouring in birds. Today we're on the ball rushes. Ah, nectar. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. That's right. Which is what we're doing because we are the sensible ones. It's all good, you know, it'll all be fine. Just got to hunker down and do what's suggested. You know, it does make sense, totally. I went over to mum and dad's yesterday and delivered food because otherwise they can't get out. Even if they have had their jabs, they can't get out, can they? Um, so they're still, they're still in lockdown, you know? And uh, so I went over to see them and the roads were relatively empty apart from a few mad van drivers. God, dear, oh dear. Yeah, apart from that, it was all right. But the white van drivers, they've certainly, they've, uh, they've changed their attitude. It was never that great before, but blimey. Mad, you know. Don't know what's wrong. Why are the drivers so aggressive? Is it a race? I didn't realise. You know, driving on the wrong side of the road now. Wow. Yeah, so, but there we are. Say la vie. That's that. That's them, you know. I can only I can only control my own driving and my own bus and my own conduct. You know, there's no point in getting all upset about these idiots. Excuse me, did I say that? There's no point in getting all upset about other people and their behaviour, because it won't change it. It just makes me angry, you know. And I don't want to be angry. I don't want to be that person. And so I just think, ugh, live and let live. Let them get on with it. Let them get on with it, eh? Don't you think? Let's just make sure that we do the right thing and we drive sensibly and cordially and and generously and considerately, you know? Let's just make sure that we have a care, eh? Come on in. Good morning, good morning, good morning, shackers. Good morning, friends. Right, come on. Paul's in the building with you. He's going to be helping you if you need any, if you need any advice or tips or you want to find something. He'll be, he's your man, Paul Church. Yeah, we're still recovering from Friday. Cool, that was a, that was an afternoon. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was, it's very difficult to monitor when you're standing here on your own, you know. But judging by the response to A Moment of Clarity, it was well received, which I'm really glad about. And um, and it didn't take long to clear it all away. It's all down here around the back of the camera. <laughs> it's all right. Ready for next time. When's the next time? February the 19th or something like that. Paul, is it February the 19th or the 17th? Don't know. Can't remember. It's definitely a Friday, though, whatever the Friday is. Come on, then. Shall we get started on these ball, ball, ball rushes? Yeah. Let's settle down. Hey, clear the head. Do a bit of colouring, get focused, learn a couple of little colouring tricks. I got up early. I've been 
stippling away. <laughs> you love it. I know you do. Come on, let's have a cup of tea. I've got a stonking headache today. Lots of snow, but very pretty. Where's that, Linda? Oh, no. It, it whistles past. You're chattering away among yourself. I can't keep up with the conversation. <laughs> right, come on. So this is what we're doing. This is my scraps. This is for my colouring bits. Right, let's have a look. So that's where we got to. Yeah, that's where we got to. Uh, let's have a look over here. This is what we were trying to do. We're kind of trying to sepia this bird, this pied kingfisher. I'm sure that this kingfisher would be very colourful and turquoise in the real world. But we thought we'd just keep it toned right down and learn the tricks. You know, what would be really brilliant then would be to do the same thing again in blues and turquoises and compare, eh? But it's the tricks that I'm after. It's all the little speckling and the dots and the lines and, and the resist with the white pencil. So that's the one I've been working on. And that's where we're headed today. So let's have a look. So lots of bulrushes. Let's have a look. I titivated his little, his neck as well. Tell you where that came from. I was looking at the eagle. Look, see the eagle? And I thought, yeah, I love that. I love this bit here. It's one of my favorite bits we've done. And I thought, hmm, a, a, a reduced version of that there would look rather lovely. Breaks it up a little bit, doesn't it? Hmm, I like that. But let's have a look at the bulrushes because that's what we're into today. See? Now, let me get up really close. Let it focus. Let it focus. There. Now they look real. And you know, don't you? There's lots of stippling going on there again. But it's that resist stipple that gives us that lovely texture. I mean, I think this whole project has been about that, hasn't it? About learning how to how to lay down a resist layer before you go in with the colour again. It's really easy and fun, you know, but it, it, it's a lot easier to put the, the white areas in before, if you see what I mean, than, than do it all dark and then try and get the white areas in. Not so good. Anyway, are you ready to start? Shall we, get, shall we give it a go? And we can always chat as we're doodling and colouring, can't we? Hey, when are we meeting today? Let's just let's just make a plan for the week ahead, right? We're hanging out together Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. Now, Monday's today, ten o'clock. Wednesday's to Wednesday, ten o'clock. Friday, I've got a couple of TV shows. I've got a couple of hours live TV on Hochanda. And my hours, if I'm not mistaken, are at nine o'clock and one o'clock. So this is that Friday. We, we always have to move our shack shack by half an hour. So instead of 10 o'clock, we'll meet at 10.30. Yeah. And that just gives me time to flick all the switches, get me old shack shack hat, hat on and then come and find you. OK, so nine o'clock Hochanda on um, on Friday morning. Then 10, that goes till 10 o'clock, you see, so I can't flick it that quickly. And then at 10.30, we'll hang out for an hour. And then I'm back on her chandra at one o'clock. I think that's right, isn't it, Paul? Paul will, Paul will confirm it, but I'm pretty certain that that's correct. Maybe, Paul, you could text me and let me know that that's right. So what are we going to use to colour in? First of all, I've got to get my good glasses on. Let's have a look. Which ones am I using? My Dame Edna's. Yeah, Dame Edna's. And I need to get closer. <laughs> right, yeah, makes such a difference. That's mad, isn't it? I suppose that's what happens when you get older. <laughs> so let's have a look. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. I was talking to Dave the other day. We were lying in bed, trying to have a line on Saturday morning. And um, he said, God, I'm so tired. I said, I know what you mean, Dave. Yeah, I said, he said, I feel like I've been hit by a bus. And I said, yeah, and I think it was a number 65. <laughs> it was the number 65. It's, I think that's what happens when you get to this age. <laughs> right, come on. Stop laughing at your own jokes, Gray. Okay, right. Ball rushes. Come on. Loads of ball rushes. Where's that one that I was testing? Oh, Barbara. 
I know I had, I just had it, didn't I? I showed you it. How's that possible? Oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've got a bit of scrap, haven't I? You need something to, to practice on. Here we go. Why did I put that all over there? Right, so this is where we're headed. Okay. Shall I come in a little closer? Hang on a minute. Let me suck my tummy in. <laughs> yeah, I reckon if we come in a bit closer like that for you, what do you think? That's better, isn't it? Yeah, much better. Right, okay. So, yeah, ball rushes. Ball rushes. Let's get some texture going on the ball rushes. You ready to start? Hmm? You all right? I know. I know, you're not alone. There are a couple of hundred of us all sitting there, all staring at each other, thinking, what is going on? Mm, I know. Got to keep going. Just keep smiling. Keep smiling. You know? Keep staying positive. It would be so easy to just go to lose it, you know? But what's the point? You could go in your kitchen and you could get all the plates out of the cupboard and sling them all on the floor and really get it out of your system. Have a good old scream. And then... You've got to clear it all up, <laughs> isn't it? That's the thing. We watch these TV shows where they have a fit and they start throwing everything out the cupboard and throwing all the toys out the pram. Well, that's all very dramatic, yeah? And they might feel better for it, although I don't think you do. I think you do get a bit of an emotional hangover from that kind of exhibition. But then you've got to get down on your hands and knees and keep mop it all up, isn't it? <laughs> Thus spake the voice of experience. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> I'm not a thrower, actually. I've had friends that are throwers. I'm not. A, I'm not a thrower because I've always sort of put the <laughs> played the film through to the end and thought, yeah, and then I'll be on my hands and knees cleaning it all up. <laughs> and that's the thing. Just hit the fast forward button, fast forward the film, and go. Mm, yeah, no, no point really, isn't it? Right. So, which we need a white pencil, white pencil, white colouring pencil. We're going to go in order of depth of colour here. On the bulrushes, we need the white. Then I'm going to do a little bit of ivory. Now here, we're going to go a little brown. I did actually give myself a little clue. Look, white, 103. Then I went to 180. Is that that, that one? Yeah, 180. I'm the polychromos. So if you're using any other colours, just a light brown, really. Then I went to 176. I'm glad I wrote it down because there are loads of these colours. In the big polychromos tin, these are, these are the best colours, really. 176. Then you want a dark green, rather than a leafy green, because I thought if we're going, if we're trying to create that kind of old sepia effect, then you can't go in with meadow green, because it just wouldn't look right. So we've got a kind of an ochre yellow going, so I thought I'd go to a sort of um, an olivey, darky, murky green, yeah? Not because it's dirty, it just looks right. You'll see. So the green that I decided to go for was the one that's called, yeah, it doesn't really know what it wants to be, olive green yellowish. <laughs> I really translates this stuff. <laughs> oh, this is the same in German. Olive green gelblich. All right, fair enough. One seven. One seven three. One seven three. And it's a kind of a, it's a lovely green. It's a green that I would like to wear, you know. It's a sort of a, an olivey green, actually. There you go. So you're going to use the olive green. And then to kind of just tone it all down, if it gets a little bit too dramatic, we're going to go with my favourite, warm grey too. If you haven't got these colours, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. Now, in the reeds department, Let's have a look. Oh yeah, here they are, the reeds, because we're going to get all the reeds out as well. We'll pull them out today. We're going to use that dirty green again. That's going to be for the reeds. In fact, that, yeah, we don't use it so much in the bulrushes. The reeds and then um, the warm grey, that's, we've got that as well. And then you just need that, that ochre, ochre, 184. 
Use any colours you've got. If you've got the pergoliners, then use a yellow, a green and a brown. There's a lovely olive green and there's a dirty, there's a dirty yellow as well. OK, so this is what you're looking for. In fact, in the um, in the pergoliners, you've got some pretty cool. Um, have a look. You've got in the watercolour ones, which you can use exactly the same. See, you've got all these. You've got that one, that one. You've got a, that one there. That's a really good olive green. That one, you've got loads of browns. There you go, look, see all the browns? I'm pulling them down now. What is this one that's broken? Can't see. Oh, it's a white one, okay. Brown, brown, dirty. See, there's loads of them. So don't feel, I mean, I personally, if, you have, if you're into this coloring thing, you should be looking at getting the polychromos. Or we've got a big tin, haven't we, Paul? Or the set of 12 with all the greys in, just to complement the, the pergoliners. If you enjoy colouring in, then treat yourself, you know? If you enjoy colouring in, treat yourself. What else are you going to do? If you can afford it, then push the boat out, because it does make a difference to your... Um, it does make a difference to the finished result if you've got the right pencils. and. Yeah, it does, you know. Now, let's have a look. So let's do these first. Let's do the, the, the uh, bull rushes. Let's do the, these bits, the heads. And what we're going to do, I know you're going to say, oh, here she goes again. But only the top part. So it's quite quick, this. So you're going to concentrate on the... Let's go to this camera. And you're going to concentrate on the top part because the sun is hitting it, you see? So just the top part where the sun's hitting it. And you're gonna da 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 Right, here we go. Just the top bit. Hello mother. Hello father. Here I am. Come grandmother. Yesterday when I was at mum and dad's, I don't know if you read my blog. <laughs> I got my dad a uh, Alexa for Christmas. It's the first time I've seen him since Christmas. That was a game and a half, trying to get the, the Alexa. <laughs> trying to get the Alexa um, hooked up in mum and dad's house. And then trying to get my dad <laughs> voice recognition. And trying to get my dad to say, Alexa before he gave her an instruction. <laughs> yeah, we did have a laugh. The best bit, the best bit was when he went, what's the weather like in Kent? Please, as if please was gonna help. I said, dad, you have to say Alexa at the beginning. And then she heard me say Alexa. And then, I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. I was like, you shut up a minute. I'm trying to talk to my father. <laughs> And it's just, there was this conversation going on with Alexa. And uh, in the end, we were just all curling out laughing. We were, it was a joke, you know. And then eventually, he finally got it and said, Alexa, what is the weather like in Kent? And she said, it's very cold. The weather in Kent, UK, is very cold and overcast. And my old man went, yeah, I know. <laughs> But the good news is, as I was leaving, I said, Dad, do me a favour, just check that it's working, that she's, uh, she's switched on, and ask her something that you'd like. And he said, Alexa, play Elton John, please. Playing you a selection of Elton John hits uh, from BBC iPlayer or whatever it was. And then, and my dad was, I left him, rocking away to Elton John, you know? It was great. And my mum was like, where is the volume switch? <laughs> they were scream, those two. Yeah, volume switch. I said, well, what you got to shout, mum, is, Alexa, volume four, or Alexa, volume... He said, don't tell her that. <laughs> it was good to see them again. It so was. Right, stipple, stipple, stipple. Dot, 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 dot. 
There you go. Right, so we've done that. Take one, put it to the side. Right, look. Now take, oh, I had a spare white just in case. Now let's go with the ivory one if you've got it. Right, we'll give that a go. And we'll go in the same area. Let's do a little bit of that. But this time we're going a little bit further afield. Okay. It's going to look lovely when it's done. This time you're going to just travel down that one side where the light's hitting it to make it a little bit lighter on one side. Could you use a white? Yeah, I'm sure you could. I'm sure you can't tell the difference. I'm just showing off now that I've got two pens. That'll do. So it doesn't take long. Just adds a little bit of texture. Okay. Cool. Have a look. Hold it up to the light and see if you've missed one, one of the ball rushes, okay? No, I've got mine. I've got mine, how about you? Yeah? Good, so now we've done that, let's have a look again and I'll show you what we're where we're gonna go to next. Let me get my camera on the ball rush. I think sometimes it's good to have a look to see. Hang on. Right. So now the next one we're going to go to is the light brown. OK, so we're going to go to the light brown now. You ready? This is lovely. It's easy and it's quick. So we go to the light brown. Are you comfortable? Are we sitting comfortably? Paul, is everything OK? Paul just sent me a message and it says, because he's got an Alexa in his in his office, it says, my Alexa is now playing Elton John. <laughs> Alexa, everyone in the shack who has an Alexa is now playing Elton John. <laughs> so, so you've just given the game away. That means I could sit here and say, um, let me think. Alexa, play Happy by Pharrell Williams. See, I haven't got one in there, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> and now you're all listening to Happy. I love it. Now we can carry on with our pied core. That makes my day. I'm in your homes in more than one way. Right, now we're going to take our brown Let's take a brown and I'm going to just use, use a light brown, nice light warm brown. I'm, this one's called raw umber, 180. And get a bit of a chisel going, like that. You know, like the, so it's a bit flat. You know, like I was showing you, yes, last week with the, that you can use one of those sandpaper, just get a bit of sandpaper out of the garage. I mean, we sell these. These are handy, but I'm sure, I'm sure you got sandpaper in the garage. Right, there you go. So. So now you've got a nice flat bit there. Where are they gone? And then what we'll do is we'll, we're just going to go down like that, circular, and then back up again. Okay, so you're going to go, let's do the next one, down like that, circular motions going from side to side. So you cover the whole thing. And when you get to the bottom, go back up again. See all the texture? It's really cool. Right, here we go again. So you go in there and you're going to go, so you're getting two layers. And where you haven't got any of the little stippling, it'll be smoother. See? It's cool. Is that working? Is that working for you? <laughs> and then back up again. See? And the stipples start to show. So if you cut across a, did I do any stippling in that area? Well, I'm about to find out. If you're cutting across a grass or a reed, don't color it in. Here we go. Down, back up again. Looks really cool. Looks cooler this time than it did the first time. Down, back up again. See, is yours doing that as well? Happy now playing in the shack. 
<laughs> All right, let's have a look. I'm I'm watching Paul's texts while I'm f coloring in bulrushes. <laughs> it is a funny old world, isn't it? Hey, it's a funny old world. What we what we're doing, but it's wholesome. Us hanging out together and listening to "Happy" by Pharrell Williams. I mean, you can always shut him up. It's your it's your Alexa, right? Um, but it's what we are doing as a as a little gang, as a group of shackers, safe, happy, and creatives. That's what we're doing to just stay safe, you know. And and if you are like me, if you're a bit of a workaholic, um, you know, I'm definitely a workaholic. There's no doubt about that, right? And I think it takes a little bit of getting used to because. It's, it feels like you're not being productive, if you know what I mean. It feels like I'm not earning any money or I'm not, I'm not working in the real sense of the word. You know, like, it doesn't feel like I'm being, I'm paying the bills. That's the, that's what I've had to get over. It feels like I'm being... I'm wasting time, but I'm not, and I know I'm not. I know this is good. It's good for me. It's good for you. It clears the head. It's fun. It's company. You know what I'm saying? it. But for a workaholic like me, it's taken a little bit of getting used to. It's easy, really. I just focus on you. I concentrate on you, and then and then I feel I'm I'm doing my work. I'm doing my bit. See, so what I'm doing here is I'm going down the side, this side here, with the same pencil, just teasing through, like the half that's going to be sh shaded. And half look good. It's ever so easy to do, you know. Yeah. Look, looks really super. Oh, hang on, what about these ones over here? Sh should be doing them all at the same time, really. Let's have a look. Are yours coming together like this too? Have a look. <laughs> they look like those um, kebab things, don't they? Skewers. <laughs> it's not a shish kebab, what is it? Like, um, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> like, like on the Barbie. <laughs> right, hang on. We need to go back one, stepping back to the colour. We've done the stippling here. I need to take this one again because I forgot to do these ones. So, little regroup. Uh, hang on, let me get my, my chisel going. That's it. Go two layers. It's amazing what a little bit of stippling can do for texture. Did you see the throwdown last night? I was watching the pottery throwdown when they were doing the fruit. The texture that they were getting on that fruit was really cool, wasn't it? And that was a, that was a kind of stippling. A few of them were doing a, a kind of stippling on the lemons, weren't they? I mean, it's not my kind of art. I've got to be fair. You know, I, I, it's not something I would fancy doing, to be honest. I like the bowls, but I wouldn't, you know. What blew me away was, though, that a lot of the fruit was so beautiful. I, I learned a lot because of the pre, you know, they, they glaze it while it's still green. See, that's new to me, to paint while on greenware, paint glaze on greenware. So, it, it yeah, I, I wouldn't mind trying that. You know, because normally you put glaze on bisque, if you know what I mean. It's already been fired once before it goes in. So that was fascinating. But, I, you know, I, I wouldn't make a banana personally. You know, I think it's very clever. And when you look at the, the, the fruit at the beginning, I actually thought that was real fruit. I had no idea. I did not know that that was actually ceramic. I thought that those apples were apples and those pears were... That pear in particular, I thought that's, that's, a, that's a, what they're called, conifer, conifer, conifer pear? Yeah, it just looked like a pear anyway. But it was ceramic, you know, and that impressed me. That impressed me. It, you know, the skill, there's no de there's no taking away from that. That's amazing. But it doesn't mean I would make it. 
we had this in class a couple of times. We were encouraged to do that, and I thought, no. The workaholic in me said, no, I don't really see the point of making a ceramic banana. <laughs> Each to his own. But that's not to say it's not amazingly clever when it comes to texture. Same as this kind of thing. The texture on these bulrushes is really cool too. So let's have a look. We've done that colour. Which one was that? I wrote it down. I know I did. Right, so that one was 180. Now let's go to 176 if you've got it. Or a darker brown. A darker, a dark, Dick Van Dyke brown, this one. Van Dick Van Dyke brown. Van Dyke brown. This one's the number 176. Or just a darker brown. Okay, and what we'll do now... We're going to start using more of a, a sharp, let's have a look, let's get in here and let's just start adding and what we're going to do is really gently, okay, just gently, don't, don't go too mad, just take that, that pen, that pencil and just stroke the inside edge. And when you get down the bottom, it can go a bit heavier. It's just that inside edge we're after, see? And just gently, because if you go gently, you're still going to get the speckles showing through. If you press too hard, you'll lose them. Like, watch. Now, let's take that one. And let's compare that one and that one, because we've just added another... All we've done... With this little kebab thing, right, the bulrush, we've just added one more layer of brown. Let's just let's just look at what we're doing before we go into mass production. I know, they look like... <laughs> I can't say it on air. <laughs> I'll go fishing for these every morning in the litter tray. <laughs> That's maybe why they come so naturally to me. <laughs> Oh, crikey. Right, so here we are. <laughs> Donna kebabs. Let's focus. Let's pretend they're Donna kebabs. Don't, don't, don't even think that they're what I just inferred. Right, that will spoil the art. See a little bit of brown on there? Yeah. So that's what we're going to do now. Just on the side away from the sun. So if the sun's pointing this way, always figure out the light source, right? And then we're going to add a little bit of shadow on this side, okay? There we are. Just on that side. Just gently, gently stroke that side. Now this, this funny old branch is in front, so that's going to be darker around the back. Just gently stroke that edge. Look, cool, eh? Right, all on this side. Everybody okay? Let's have a look. Nice. Yeah. Just tricks, isn't it? Little techniques. Let's do this one. Just on that side. What's the time? Half past. Okay, cool. We'll get this done. See? Just strokely, 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 strokely. <laughs> Gently stroke the edge of that bulrush. That's it. Nice. There we are. Paul and I have hatched a plan as well. We've been thinking about it for a while, but it's been a, you know, I, we think, right, this is what I think anyway. We've decided, right, because we, when we started the lockdown, when we started the lockdown, we, we were every, every day at 10 o'clock, weren't we, we, we hung out in the shack shack. And we doodled every single day for our lives, as if our lives depended on it. And then after a few months, we said, 
I, I, we said Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because people started going back to work and the pressure was off a little bit, you know. And so we kind of took it, we took it back a step, didn't we? And we went to Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, which is where we're at now. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And it works fine. But that leaves Tuesday and Thursday, right? With a little bit of a gap. Now, there's something that I've been toying with the idea for a long time. But you have to understand, I, I've got a business to run. You know, so I've been taking those Tuesdays and Thursdays to have my Zoom meetings and get a little, you know, keep the business going. But nonetheless, I see a, a need, right, for a, a groovy shack shack. OK, this is what I'm thinking. I'm just going a little bit darker now. And so I spoke to Paul this morning, right, because I slept on it, went in doubt, hang about, as I say. Right. So I woke up this morning. I thought, right, I know what to do. I'm going to delegate this one. So I spoke to Paul because we always have our more morning conversations at about, I don't know, six thirty, seven 7 o'clock. Don't we, Paul? Before the day begins. And uh, so what we've got here, burnt sienna. Let me just check what color I'm using because there's one more color I want to use. Uh, no. All right. Burnt sienna. Is that the color? Yeah, it's a sort of a ready brown. Go for, see if you can find a kind of a ready colour. And then what we're going to do now is make a little, as you come down here, right, as you come down, just make a little, like this, just, that's it. So it looks like a scars. Because if you look at bulrushes, that's what they do. They've got like scars on them. So just come up and make a little, just go down the side and make a little scar. That's all. Right random. So anyway, so Paul and I, what we said was, how about this then? We can share it. Paul will head it up and I'll, and I'll come in. We're going to see if we can't do it together. Right. And we're going to on Tuesdays, we're going to have. Groovy Tuesday. There you go. Alexa, play Ruby Tuesday by the Rolling Stones. <laughs> yeah. So on Tuesdays at 10 o'clock, we're going to have. A groovy shack shack. And the only the only difference really, look, doesn't that look cool? Now it really looks like a kebab. <laughs> hang on, let's get this toned down a bit. Right, hang on a minute. I'm gonna go with my beige now to tone it down. I'm boring warm grey too. See, and you know what we said the other day? If it gets too, yeah, nice. That's exactly what it needs now. That shh, layer. This is like if you were, this would be the same if you took your blending tool, basically, except I'm using the grey pencil, the warm grey pencil, to tone those colours down. Right, nice, eh? Love it. That'll do. Stop overcooking it. Now we've got one, two, three. They look like little sausages on sticks. <laughs> No, they're lovely. Give over. Find your lead pencil. Have you got a sharp pencil? H. H is cool. And just see the see the top bits, the reeds that are sticking out the top. What we'll do is we'll, we'll double them up because they're drawn just as a as a line, a single line. And what I want you to do is make them into two lines, right? Not too not too chunky. Make them into two lines so they're pointing, but they're they're not just a, a little. See, see, can you see what I'm talking about? Let me see if I that one's a little bit thick actually, grey, for the main event. You did didn't do very well there, did you? That's it. So. Find all your right groovy Tuesday. So what we thought was, here we go. Look, see how I'm let it focus. Yeah, we're going to get these. We're going to beef these these little little grasses up a little bit. See like that. Beef them up a bit. Now the bit that goes underneath, let's find, find your green, get your green one. Have you got a, a dark green? I need to sharpen mine a little bit. And while I'm doing that, I'll tell you. 
So the thing is, when we started the um, when we started the the shack shack, hang on. When we started the shack shack, I'm just sharpening my green because I want to get it tight when I go in that. The whole point of the shack shack was, don't panic, it's fine. We, we don't need anything. We need a piece of paper and a pencil. That is it, right? And that's a fact. And we've gone, I mean, obviously, we've added the colouring pencils, we've added the pens, we've added the postcards. We added bits and pieces as we went along just to be able to do, you know, to get better. Now, the thing about Groovy is that the, the, whole, the whole thing is you do need parchment, you do need, you know, there are things that you need. The starter kit is what you need. So Paul and I talked about it this morning because a lot of you will be thinking about starting parching, but it's like, where do you go? So we thought, well, if we do this Groovy Tuesday, every Tuesday at 10 o'clock for an hour, at the very least, I mean, if it gets really popular, then we'll move it to Thursday as well. We'll do both days. But for the start, you know, in a, we'll, we'll start with you. So you're always going to have a place to go to free, completely free, on a Tuesday where you can come and doodle. Linda Williams has already said when it gets to the more complicated things or if we get really busy, she'll join in and she'll help us too. And I know that the other, I know Hazel will, I know, I know that others uh, on the team will, will join in and help us. So they'll, what I'm saying is there'll be free guidance, but you need the starter kit, right? And the starter kit, I show you. We've, I said to Paul, right? Let's let's have a look. This is the starter kit, right? It's got everything you need in there, everything you need to get started. And the thing is, if you're in the Shack Shack and you've got the pencils, the polychromos and the pergoliners, they work on parchment. So we've already covered that. When we get to colouring in on parchment, we've already done that bit. You've got the tools in there, you've got the mat, you've got the parchment, you've got the starter kit. And what we're going to do, just because we can, right, we've dropped the price quite substantially on the starter kit, but also so that we've got something to play with as well, we're going to add this beautiful, I love this plate, this was pretty much the first one that we we started with it's the um the butterfly wreath and it's i still think it's one of the most beautiful designs and there's so much mileage in it you can do so much you could learn all your skills on this right so so if you wanted to start your groovy parchment journey now now's the time and we've got um like I say, Paul will show you where the starter kit is. If you want to join the club, I know it sounds like a sales pitch, sorry, but this I've got to say this. The 1st of February, I think I mentioned, we have our club members, we have a half price sale. So there won't be a great deal of difference in price between what it's going on offer for now when you include that and club members. But if you wanted to join the club, then you might want to consider doing that. Because if you do that, then you get projects and you get ideas and and you get the plates to make the projects every month, right? And it's six quid a month. So something to consider. Um, so that's that's what that's the only real thing that you're gonna need if you want to join in the groovy shack shack starting next Tuesday. So if you order it today, we'll make sure you've got it. By next Tuesday we've got a week to get our act together it's all right we've got them in stock so something to consider anyway if you wanted to join and I know loads of you you're already you're already groovers so you'll have the starter kit or perhaps you've got the starter kit and you haven't got it out of the box yet start next Tuesday Paul's gonna start Paul's gonna launch and we're gonna start right at the very beginning okay and then we'll just, and it'll be a proper full on one hour groove along, a groove along, a groove along, groovy Tuesday. OK, and if it gets popular, we'll spread it over to Thursday as well. Right. Are we back to our pork sausages on sticks? Let's have a look. I think Paul, he's the person that is going to, because he's very, very good at that. Um, he's very, very good at all the, um, the parchment work. That's really his his forte, his strength. So he will be brilliant for um, for heading that up, won't you, Paul? Yes, you will. 
<laughs> right, so I'm going to sharpen my green one. Which one have I got here? No, not that one. And I want to do the stems as well. Okay, so I just gently... Right, this will work. Yes. So if you you look at the... This is... We just want to see. Follow it down. If this is the... Your pen wants to be really upright and your, your tip wants to be really sharp. And then what I'm going to do is just run that gently like that down on top. See, it comes down there. It's there of the, the ball rush. Let's have a look. It comes down here. I just got to, you're trying to follow the line. Here we go. So following train tracks, this is really, you've got folk, focus. So that comes down here, it's gonna be there. Here's another one. So just hold it upright like that. Yeah, I think basically I've been looking at the news and I've been thinking, right, well this is, this is gonna be the way it is for a while. Let's have a look. What's this one doing? Is it going that way? Yeah. Yeah. Or is it going around that way? I think it's coming around this way. Um, so we may as well make the most of it and embark on a really easy, gentle way to learn parchment craft. And I think the, the groovy starter kit, you've got everything you need. And then we'll just start and we can, we can, wow, we can learn so much together, really. You look how, look how our doodling skills have come along since last April, you know, and it will be the same with, with parchment. It will be an effortless way of moving forward. And the other thing is when you're working in a big group or with a bunch of friends, you jolly each other along and you can help each other, you know, so. I think it's a great idea, even if I say so myself. Right, so now let's have a look at the grasses. And without at the at the risk of sounding as if I'm as if I'm pushing sales, I'm not. It's not that. I just if you want to join in, you need to get your starter kit ordered as soon as possible so that so that you're good to go next Tuesday. Right, so we want cream, yellow, green, and beige. Let's get them out. Ivory yellow, warm grey and green. Right, I've got my four that I need for my grass. Now I'm now I can go for it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put an undercoat. I'm not stippling. I'm just I'm going to go with an undercoat of cream all the way through. Hang on, what have I got here? So it comes through here like that. You've got to follow the train tracks, really. And it comes round here, behind there, to there. Right, this kind of gets you familiar. And we go down there, and then it comes round the back here. You can see it. Right there. Right, then this one. This one comes here. So what we're doing is we're just trying to track. Why does that one go? Well, we'll leave that one for a minute. Well, I'll have to come from the bottom for that one. Then we've got this tall one here, this reed. See, and by just adding this ivory or undercoat like this, it kind of shows you what you're colouring in. Because otherwise, it all just looks like spaghetti junction. So this one here, right, I need to sharpen it as well. Actually, I'm not going to sharpen it. I'm going to use this thing. Just get a bit of a point going on there. Right, that'll do. That's better. Right, now, hold it upright. Now that's better. So then I can come in here, go along there, and that one. So this one comes through here. Core, focus, or what? It won't take long when you get going. And even if we just do a few together, you can do the rest before Wednesday, can't you? Yeah, and the groovy shack shack on Tuesday... Ruby Tuesday, Groovy Tuesday, that's an easy way to remember it, right? Um, that's not till next week, not tomorrow. 
Not tomorrow. That'll be the following week. If you fancy it. Right, what have we got here? Nice. And then we'll learn how to do cutting, the Pico cutting, how to do grid work, white work, embossing. We'll do a lot. We'll do a lot, but we'll do it slowly and we'll do it over a period of weeks and months every Tuesday, you know, and we'll, we can go at a really comfortable pace. Hey, and it's all recorded on YouTube, so you can always go back over it again and again and again, you know. And there are going to be loads of people, I promise you, there'll be loads, Linda and Josie and Glynis and Hazel and Jane, they'll be in there and they'll be helping you. And if you're struggling, we'll have all the experts helping. Paul will just be driving the bus or I will, you know, depending on the workload. It's, it's been something that I've been thinking about doing for a long time, but you understand I've got, I'm up to here at the moment with work. So I... I and I've always thought, oh, groovy, it always takes so much longer. I haven't got the time, I haven't got the time, I haven't got the time. But actually then I had a bit of a moment of clarity and I thought, well, we'll just give us the time. Instead of doing workshops, why don't we just do sessions like, like we do the doodle sessions? Because you get good, you do get good. And just by virtue of the fact that we were doing a whole hour together, you know, it's like, it's obvious what's you're going to improve your game you're going to improve your game and it's free all right all you've got to do is get your starter kit that's all you need and then and then as we go along there'll be a point where we'll say right you really do need to get a pair of scissors now because we're going for the pico cutting or if you fancy doing some grid work but you know it's not about selling you loads of stuff it is really not You'll buy the stuff when you get hooked. You'll be like, oh, I've got to do this. I've got to try that. But we just want to doodle along with you or groove along with you and get good at it so that you feel, it's like our Elizabeth always says, you know, the more you do, the better you get. And the better you get, the more you want to do. And we've seen that in the Shack Shack. You know, we, we are all living proof of it. So, so it's about time that we took the bull by the horns and did this. And it's the new year, you know. So many people have been asking and asking. You know, I saw it last Friday when I looked back at the messages. I saw, well, are we going to do the groovy play? Are we going to do the groovy play? See, I didn't even get to do the stamps, let alone, the gro you know, I ran out of time. And all the time I was thinking, oh, I'm never going to have time. And people ask. So clearly there's a, there's, a, there's a demand. Right, I'm going over the... See, now I know where the, the, the ivory is. It's easy for me to take my yellow and I'm going to go right down the middle like that. Just sweep through the greeds. It's the green in a minute. When we add the green, it goes... It really is quick how effective it suddenly becomes but I'm just I'm holding the pen upright like that and then I'm just dragging the yellow sort of down the middle if I can because that's gonna hold on where's this one so you come down here like that there we go yeah just yeah, so with this groovy stuff, I just think, I know a lot of you are into it or want to get into it and don't really know where to start. And it is one of those ones where you think, oh, it's a big investment. You know, you spend 30 or 40 quid on a, I don't know, what is the starter kit if, we, if we're we on offer? I think it's, well, you save nearly 18 quid. There you go. You save 18 pounds if you buy it at the moment. That's pretty good. So it's 45 quid for the starter kit with the plate. Mm-hmm. Okay. And if you're a club member, you get your discounts or you wait and then it'll be half price. Um, but you won't get your discounts. So it's sort of six, one half dozen, the other, really. I think we've worked it out. We're here to help you, not fleece you. OK, just got to know. You know that anyway, don't you? There. Right. So we've put our yellow down. Here we are. Nice. Yeah, and it may just be 
that you you fancy you've always wanted to have a go but you didn't know where to start well i'm giving you the starting blocks now i'm giving you the starting block because the thing about the groovy thing it's been going for a few years and so because there are so many i'm not saying experts but people are so advanced now because they've been it's like turning the telly on halfway through a film isn't it you think well i wouldn't even know where to begin right well i'm giving you the starting place right now right groovy tuesday Grooving, groovy Tuesday. Do you like the Rolling Stones? Right, green. This is where we add the green. Ready? And what we're going to do is kiss the side. Kiss the side. As if we're going to be doing that, that dark. We we'll just do it. Let's do one side and we can always go back and do the other side. You want it to be quite sharp to do this. Let me see. What's the best way to sharpen it? Do I use a sharpener? Yeah, okay. Sharpener, sandpaper. They both work, don't they? Right, so what we're going to do now is come down. I'm coming down the side, just this side here. Right. Okay. And then a little bit of shade. <sighs> down that side. Gently does it. Kiss that edge. <sighs> So it's quite a dark colour, that, isn't it? And then we'll come up the other side. And what we'll do is when we flick up the other side, you're going to get that yellow spine. That's what I'm going for, is trying to get a yellow, like a yellow spine. Do you see? Yeah, nice. That's what we're going for, that yellow, yellow in the middle. That'll work. How's that? Ha! Ah. Yeah, right, but we need to carry on with that one. Let's go in there, like that. That's it, and then we'll come back down here with this, kissing that edge again. Yeah, this is easy, really. Just kiss that edge. You can flick the pencil over if you want it to be sharper. So you've got a kind of a, a flat side and a pointy side. You will let you buy you have to have. If you've got a flat side, flick the pencil and you'll have a this is gonna be good. There we go. There we are. Yeah, nice. See? There's one grass. And then I just want a little bit of green on this side as well. So I just won't press so hard, remember? Just have to go a bit easier on that side, like that. Cool, very cool. So you use the green to tone down the yellow and to shade. Looking good, looking very good, and you build it up. See? How are we doing for time? Oh, we're all right, we're all right, we're good, aren't we? Yeah, all cool. Paul, everything all right? There we go. Yeah, it'll be fine. Right, and then this one, see, this one's in front of that one. Let's just do this little one so we see. So we'll add a bit of yellow. So that's going to be quite bright. In fact, I'm going to add a bit of yellow to that one as well. Brighten it up a bit. And then you're going to use your grey or your green to add that depth. And the yellow will act as a resist, you see, that's the key. You just bring your colours down. And then as you go over the yellow, it does look good, you know. You'll see as you go over the yellow, especially if you pressed hard with the yellow, it acts as a resist. They all do. Cool. Just depends which one you use as a resist. Whether you use the white or the yellow. See? And then you just start toning it down. Right. So you just use your, come back up here. Just down you come, both sides, stick to the outside. This is gonna look good. Slowly does it. And then you decide how dark you want the green, the green to be just by how hard you press, really, eh? That'll work. It's all fine.
you go with what you got you know you, you work with what you've got and you there you go that looks cool hey yeah this is going to be nice and so what you could do if you fancied between now and when we get together try not to kill off the bits that are sticking out of the sausages oh look i missed one there um that's it perhaps between now and wednesday you could f do your your grasses and your and your kebabs your donna kebabs if i was doing your ball rushes go on you could do your ball rushes for us and then that means that when we get together on wednesday we can focus on the branch and the leaves and then on friday we can do the sun and the water and we can watch that make it ping so that's what we're going to do we're going to do the bulrushes today and the leaves the reeds then on wednesday you will have done all that then we'll do these lovely big flowers and these ferns these leaves here then on friday we'll do the real the backdrop and we'll see see what it looks like when it's completed hey cool nice 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 what's the time time to stop time to stop just enjoy it you know there are no experts i've said it once i've said it a thousand times there are no experts in the building just take your time take your time and if you think oh, i don't like what i've done well remember what i said about getting off the bus on friday get off the bus get your rubber go back to the terminal get on the right bus if you're on the wrong bus it's not going to go right it doesn't matter how much time you spend on it if you feel it's not working and you've overcooked it or you're using the wrong color or whatever right then just get off the bus get your eraser take out the color that you don't like so you've gone back to the terminal and then start again okay <laughs> patience and that's the thing all the time that we're just focusing and we're in it and we're thinking about it and we're we're honing our coloring skills then we're not worrying about anything else that's what we're thinking about and i find for me personally and this is the same with pottery if i do something and then i go back to it two days later it's almost like it's percolated and i and i i'm better at it two days later it's like it's sunk in into my subconscious and then when i go again so that's actually really cool that we do monday wednesday friday so it just gives it a chance to sink in gives me a chance to practice absorb what we've learned and then when i go back it's like the subconscious has digested it all and i'm good to go again it seems to work like that for me and i hope that it works like that for you anyway that's that's enough for today so do us a favor before wednesday finish those those reads okay and the colors that we're using just i tell you what don't get too caught up on it but you need a, a yellow a green and a beige all right and uh and i'll i'll i can tell you what they are i'll write it out for you i'll blog it today i'll tell you what i'll do today today monday's blog is trees and flowers so what i'll do is on on the blog i'll break down what i'm doing here so you can see exactly the sequence you know i think that's a good idea why not barbaragrayblog.com yeah gives me something to do gives me gives me a focus gives me a direction and it gives you somewhere to go as well maybe we'll have a little competition yeah maybe i'll think of something to do it's all right you know we're here to keep you company it will be fine just stay safe happy and creative and i'll see you wednesday lots of love bye bye now thanks paul